1936, Fiesta Ware, an Art Deco ceramic glazed dinnerware, was manufactured and marketed by Homer Laughlin China Company of Newell, West Virginia. Fiesta Ware's original shape and glazes were designed by Homer's art director, Frederick Hurton Reed. When Fiesta Ware was first produced, it only came in five colors red, orange red, blue, cobalt, green, light green, yellow, deep gold, and old ivory, a yellowish cream. To achieve the bright yellow, red, orange color, uranium oxide was added to the glaze. This caused it, when baked, to glaze up and make an orange color. In 1944, this glaze was discontinued due to confiscations of the uranium for the Manhattan Project to build the first thermonuclear warhead. In 1959, the orange fiesta wear was continued, but now it used depleted uranium instead of naturally occurring uranium oxide. Depleted uranium and naturally occurring oxide are different. The difference between depleted uranium and naturally occurring uranium is that uranium that is naturally occurring contains uranium-235 and 238, but depleted uranium has all the 235 removed. The 235 is what's responsible for detonation and fission in a nuclear warhead or a nuclear reactor. Red Fiesta Ware is not the only Fiesta Ware produced that has radioactive material in its glaze. Another color that contains radioactive material is ivory. In 1972, all the use of depleted uranium stopped in Fiesta Ware, and all Fiesta Ware produced today has no radioactive materials put into the glaze. Examinations of some plates revealed that it could be up to 14% uranium by weight, and some plates have an estimated 4.5 grams of uranium. Uranium containing fiesta ware is perfectly safe to be eaten off of, as long as it is not broken or chipped. Uranium-238 emits alpha particles, which are less penetrating than other forms of radiation, and weak gamma rays. As long as it remains outside the body, uranium poses little health hazards. Let's test the plate's radioactivity. First, let's test it with the BR6 Geiger counter. Setting it on, we see that it raises quite quickly. We see that it maxes around about 18.50 microsieverts per hour. Now let's test it with the Ludlum C14 with a scintillator probe. Let's turn it to times one. and put the probe near the plate. It maxes out right away. Let's turn to times 10. You see it rise quickly, but then slow down as it maxes out. The unit maxes out at around 15,000 counts per minute. Thanks for watching and see you next time. In the meantime, while you wait for the next video to come out, check out my Discord server in the link in the description. It's for general sciences and nuclear chemistry where we can discuss things. My Reddit account just got old enough to make a subreddit, so I did that. Link in the description also for that. See you next time.